Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red, brown, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. <laughs> Good morning, my sweet friends. I'm so glad that you're here to learn about Jesus and spend some time in his word. That's a great way to start every day. So let's sing good morning to God. Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me your way. Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me your way. This morning, I'm going to read to you a very special verse in the book called Mark, chapter 10. Verse 14, Jesus said, let the little children come to me. Jesus wants children to come to him. So what you're doing now is really important. You're taking time to learn about Jesus. Jesus wants everyone to come to him. Let's read our story from our tiny talks. This story is called so that is who Jesus is. Kim Kisser had been reading her Bible in the Gospel of Mark. She was curious about something. Daddy, she said, who was Jesus? Mr. Kisser put down his paper. He said, Jesus is God's son who came to die on the cross and save us from our sins. Kim didn't understand that. So Mr. Kisser explained, God made us. He made stars and planets and birds and bees and flowers and trees and every person on earth. And he wanted us to be happy. So he gave us a special book telling us how to be happy. <laughs> he gave us his rules in the Bible. But we have all disobeyed the Bible. And when we disobey the Lord, we aren't happy anymore. And God isn't happy with us, even though he still loves us. He knows that disobedience always needs to be punished. Kim felt bad about that, but her father continued, that is why Jesus came to planet Earth. He let himself be nailed to a big wooden cross where he died to take our punishment. After he died, he was buried, but he came back to life three days later. He is alive right now, living in heaven, and he is able to watch us and love us and be with us all the time. Kim thought about it for a moment, and then she said, so that is who Jesus is. Jesus is the most important, special person that you can ever know. Mm -hmm. What did Kim want to know? Kim wanted to know who Jesus was and what did Jesus do for us? Jesus took the punishment for our sins. He died on the cross in our place so that our sins can be forgiven by God, and we can live forever with God in heaven. That's what Jesus did for us. And when we believe in Jesus and ask him to be our savior and trust him and, and love him, then we are saved from our sins and we can look forward to heaven. That is a very, very special thing. And Jesus wants everyone to know that. He wants everyone to come to him. Not little, not just the little children, but big kids and grown-ups as well. Everyone needs to know Jesus. <laughs> Let's pray about that. Okay? Our hands we fold, our heads we bow, so we can talk to Jesus right now. Dear Jesus, thank you for your amazing love that caused you to die for my sins. Thank you for forgiving me and allowing me to live forever in heaven. Help all of us come to you 
to be saved. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gates to open wide. He will wash away my sin, let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. <laughs> Jesus loves me. Jesus loves you. Remember that and have a super day. Hey, God bless and keep you. See you next time.